Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKodash. Double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who honor the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Honor salutations to the men that is pushing the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, truth, and diligence. Peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect. So, um, just a real quick article um, that I uh, you know, came across from Reuters. It says German industry warns of possible gas rationing. All right, and it just came out today, um, June twenty third, June twenty third, two thousand and twenty two. So you know the thing, everything that's going on uh, with the uh, you know energy crisis. All right, uh, uh, you know NATO, EU, the beast, um, separating uh, uh, themselves economically from you know Russia is um, causing. Uh, a a a, a um, panic. All right, it's causing a, it's causing a crisis to where now there is a possibility that um, you know these Westernized countries. All right, uh, these these uh, EU countries, and even even here in, in Babylon. All right, it's going to trickle trickle here to uh, as well. But everything that they're doing to try to uh, uh, sanction Russia is actually causing more uh, disruption in their own uh, society all right their own country their own you know economy all right and um you know i see i was i seen this article and it just only made me think well if we're getting if you know if they're getting to the possible point uh we're at the possible point of gas rationing then you know <laughs> you know what comes after that all right and you got what you have what a, a food rationing Okay, hey, um, and with gas rationing, then that means that people are not going to be able to uh, 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 travel as uh, um, often or as, you know, uh, 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 as much as they want to, which, you know, ties right into the uh, biblical prophecies that were written about these times. All right. So it says German industry associations warn on Thursday that gas rationing may become a reality in the Europe's largest economy after the government triggered phase two of its three phase emergency gas plan. All right. So once again, this is this is a Europe's largest economy, Germ uh, Germany. All right. But if but what's happening, what's happening uh, in Germany is that there's a a, a, a crisis and. To the point where they're now thinking about uh, rationing uh, gas, whether that be travel, you know, cars, whether that be, you know, for for heating purposes of your house. OK. Which is only going to cause more, uh, uh, um, you know, disturbance and, and more uproars of the people. So it says that the danger is real, that we are heading toward an undersupply and therefore a rationing regimen. Said Thilo Brotman, managing director of the VDMA Engineering uh, Industry Association, the burden of possible gas rationing must be borne <laughs> jointly by all actors. Okay, said Dirk, whatever, all right, uh, of the trade, Foreign Trade and Service Federation. So he's saying that this is something that all actors, you know, have to uh, 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 fill, not just Germany. Because, see, if there's a, a, a shortage of, of gas because of the whole situation that is going on with Russia and Ukraine and, and these European countries that are part of NATO are, you know, separating themselves, trying to hurt um, Russia's economy, right? But in, in this, it's a double-edged sword. If you don't want to buy Russia's gas, then Russia is not going to supply you with gas and then where are you going to get your fuel from, your your oil from, your gas from? So, and what is in their in their uh, 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 you know short short uh, um, wisdom, all right, or their lack of wisdom, I should say, that they're saying, well, not so all of all of the countries together should should start rationing uh, uh, gas, you know, you have Germany. Uh, Europe, uh, that's a Europe, Germany, UK, France, you know, Belgium, X, Y, and Z, America, so that we all could, you know, fill or ease each other's tensions <laughs> or ease each other's burdens. 
You see? But this is, like I said, this is only going to, you know, uh, uh, backfire and cause more, you know, disruption because... As the scripture says, you know, this is this is the, uh, the time of, of, of the beginning of sorrows. All right. And also that there is no peace. Let me get that. I have that pulled up. There is no peace. Isaiah 48 verse 22. Uh, it says, there is no peace, saith Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, unto the wicked. So anything that they're trying to do is, is not going to make things better. It's only going to make it worse. Pursuant to our Jeremiah, let's get that, 50, Jeremiah uh, 50, so like 51, Jeremiah 51, and, and go straight to the point, Jeremiah 51, verse um, 8, it says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed, how for her take balm for her pain, if so, she may be healed, all right, and we know uh, uh, Babylon the Great, or the daughter of Babylon, is America, okay? But America is, sits on that beast, which is what? The 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 NATO, the EU. So uh, they're all working in tangent. So whenever, and, and because of globalization, when something is affecting one part or one head of the beast, then it's going to affect the other part of the beast. And if something is affecting the whore, and it's going, to, it's going to affect the beast. If something's affecting the uh, uh, the beast, uh, one of the ten horns is going to affect the whore. So Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay, so... As we get closer and closer to the to the to the destruction, things are going. It's going to be more uh, wounds, all right, more uh, uh, um, injuries upon the beast, upon the whore, and these injuries are incurable, all right. These wounds cannot be healed. So let's um, you know, let's see. I got a you know a couple more headlines. You know, uh, um, I was just running through them this uh, this morning. Um, Sri Lanka is asking for silver servants to work a four day week so that they can grow their own uh, food on Fridays. Right. And if you haven't been paying attention to what's going on, on on over there in Sri Lanka, it's basically a societal collapse. All right. You got a civil war. You got a uh, 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 uproars of the people. All right. You got uh, them not regarding their kings and princes. You just had. Um, the, the British, uh, airways, uh, British airline, they just voted, the workers just voted to, uh, strike. Okay. The, to strike the, to strike the company, to go on strike on the company because of pay. So you have, uh, you, and the thing is with the pay situation, all the cost of living and everything is going up. So people are now at a point where they are, are, are demanding higher pay. It's no longer a request. It's no longer a, you know, maybe if I work hard and, and I come into work. No. All right. It's you better pay us or we're going to we're going to stop working. And then your company is going to, you know, uh, go under. So this is in, in, so this is and this is happening on different industries and different aspects where everybody is feeling, you know, uh, 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 this tension rise, man. Everybody is feeling these calamities and everybody is looking toward their uh, uh, their rulers for 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 them to do something. But the but their leaders are saying, oh, there's nothing we can do. But we know that ultimately this is going to uh, uh, usher in the, uh, the M.A.R.K. All right. They're going to have this, uh, uh, you know, system, the, the M.O.T.B. system be the, the, the one stop fix for all, for for for, you know, all of the problems that are being that, you know, that are being caused right now. And a lot of people are going to fall into that trap because of the calamities, because of the 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 world, the desolation as a whirlwind. They're going to they're going to see this as their only, um, uh, you know, only uh, only solution, only only saving grace. But that's going to be to their demise. This is something else. Um, it says the Federal Reserve has already publicly warned that wild price swings in global commodities 
markets are raising the risk of a contagion that could hit global banks hard. Germany is now warning of a Lehman-like contagion due to gas. All right, and, and um, what happened during the 2008-2009 uh, banking crisis, it started because of Lehman, all right, the Lehman Brothers um, um, investment bank. And that caused a, uh, a, uh, a, a ripple effect all throughout the um, all throughout the stock market, all throughout the housing market and, and various different banks, you know, and that's where you got the whole notion of a uh, bank is too big to fail, that the Federal Reserve will have to come and bail out uh, banks. Well, now you, <laughs> the Federal Reserve is 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 basically saying that, like, we're going to have to step in and we're going to have to change this whole federal, this whole financial system in order for this to uh, uh, continue. And it's not going to, and it's not going to continue the way it is now. That's why they're talking about CBDCs, you know, uh, Fed coins, they're collapsing the, de the, the decentralized, you know, cryptocurrencies so that they can ultimately bring in this uh, uh, payment system that is going to be directly from the federal reserve uh, uh, banks. All right. The central bankers, which we always speak about, that is the ones who, you know, uh, 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 are the rulers of the darkness of this world, okay? Them directly to the citizens. There will be no, there will be no need for a commercial bank. All right, that's where you get your Fed wallet, your Fed coin, etc. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> okay, mortgage rates in the U.S. climb again, hovering near a 14-year high. Right, more, more. Um, Cost of living being raised, you know, hey, and all of these things is 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 uh, um, causing more an instability and causing people to have um, more anger. All right, because so you had 2020, which people thought was going to be, you know, just a small, <laughs> a small little uh, uh, disturbance, a small little inconvenience. For about two weeks, right? That's what they were saying. They shut down, the, shut down the economy, shut down the world for two weeks, and we'll just bounce back like nothing happened. Where here it is, you over two years later, it, uh, and, and things are only gotten perpetually worse. So you had in 2020 when that, when the whole emic started, when they closed everything, people was like, "Oh, can't wait to 2021." 2021 came, and things were were still was shut down. All right. Yeah. A lot of small businesses got uh, got, um, you know, uh, uh, destroyed. OK. And then 2021, that was when they started speaking about the inflation. They started speaking about the uh, um, price, you know, gouging of, uh, you know, food. All right. Um, uh, uh, what else? What else went up? Gas actually gas didn't really go up in 2021. All right. But food was going up. <clears throat> and um, you still had people dealing with the uh, the the whole icky vicky, right? That was what twenty one was really about. Whether or not you can go to a uh, you know get a job or go go into the office, you know you can't travel without getting the you know the the, the icky vicky, all right, Vanessa, so on and so forth. Now here in two thousand and twenty two, you're dealing with a whole plethora of different uh, 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 situations. OK, you got different uh, pestilences that are happening. I just read that in Florida, there's an outbreak of meni meni um, meningitis or something to that effect, you know, among uh, uh, bisexual, homosexual men. And so the so the Lord is plaguing all right, uh, the, the wicked men. He's plaguing these people that are doing things that are abominations, that are living in a, an abominable lifestyle. All right, and as it call Hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that, man. Because we're seeing the Lord is going to work. As the scripture said, it is time for thee to work. Let me pull that out. It is time for thee to work, O Yahweh. All right, and we're watching, witnessing the working of, of the Heavenly Father, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Psalms 119, verse 126. It is time for thee, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, to work, for they have made void thy law. All right, they have made void thy law. They trans they and they and they openly, proudly, all right, uh, um, transgress the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and at the same time, 
try to say that this is a God fearing country. All right, Isaiah 9, verse um, 3, verse 9, it says, The show of their countenance doeth witness against them. They declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. You see? And that's why, as we just read, there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. You only is only evil is coming. It says, Say ye to the righteous, all right, the just shall live by faith, the ones who have uh, 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 repented, turned back, serving the Lord in fear and trembling, working out their salvation in fear and trembling. Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him. Okay? So this is what we're saying to the, to, to the sheep. This is what we're saying to one another. All right? And in the book of Malachi, it talks about they that uh, um, spoke often uh, often uh, to another, a book of remembrance was open to them. All right? Um, let me actually pull that up. Malachi... Is that the third chapter? Malachi 3, verse um, 16, it says, actually, start at 14. It said, he have said, it is vain to serve the Most High. And what profit is it that we kept his ordinance and, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? You see? And that's what we see a lot of people before 2020. Uh, a lot of people have been, you know, were scoffing at the at the warnings man they didn't believe our report they they didn't think that that a, a tribulate a tribulous time will come they just thought it was always going to you know be the status quo it was always going to be you know a, a mirth and happiness and and you know no no uh, uh um evils were coming although we were warning in the spirit and power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai that these things were coming so it says, and now we call the proud happy. Yeah, they that work wickedness are set up. Yeah, that yea that salakia. Yea, they that tempt the most high are even delivered. But that time is, is, is rapidly decreasing, man. That that era of the wicked just being uh, um untouched. No, once again, we're in a time that the Lord is is working, okay, is judging the wicked. Verse 16 says, Then they that feared Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened. You see? Us constantly working, us constantly uh, you know, crying unto the Lord, asking him how long. All right. Was that Luke the 18th chapter? Where it says um that uh, uh um the servants, you know, the, the elect cry you know to the Lord day and night. Though he bear long with them, shall he not avenge his very elect that cry unto him day and night? So the Lord has was has been hearkening unto us, unto our prayers, all right, unto our cries for for him to deliver us, all right, to to bring righteous judgment on this place, okay, and to uh, set up the set up the kingdom, all right, and to take down the the wicked that are in rulership. It says, "Then the Lord hearkened and heard it in a book of remembrance." Uh, was written before him, the, the, the scriptures, for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. You see that? So this book of remembrance is for us, man. The things written aforetime is written for our learning. So when we when we go back into the scriptures, when we read the uh, the prophecies, those these things are written so that we can have comfort in knowing that Hey, if we stay on a correct path and we stay diligent that although this uh this time is coming although this hell is coming because we repented because we trusted and feared Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai he will deliver us all right we're thinking upon his name all right to, for for our salvation some trust in horses and chariots but we would trust in the name of our power okay let's go uh um just read, I'll read on to the 18. It says, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And the day when I make up my jewels, I will spare them. Who are the jewels? All right. The elect of the nation of Israel. All right. The lively, the lively stones, the precious stones. Those are the jewels of the Lord, man. It says, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. See, this is the reason why we serve the Lord. There is a reward for serving the Lord. And that reward is what? Salvation, deliverance, protection, guidance. Okay? 
Because when the script, when he says, I will spare them, that means that they're going to be people that are not spared. There's going to be people that are going to be in a pitiful case. Ezekiel 9 and 4, uh, spare not, neither have, neither let your eye have pity. It says, then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked and between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. So it's going to be a separation. It's going to be, you're going to be able to find out, see who actually serves the Lord. All right. in sincerity and in truth and who doesn't, because it's going to be, that's, that, that is going to be, uh, uh, um, determined by who is delivered and who isn't, who is, who is in joy during these times. All right. And who is in sorrow, is sorrowful during these times. Like as it says in the scriptures that um, my servants shall, shall, shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servants shall drink and ye shall be thirsty. It also is written that in that we shall not be ashamed in the time of famine. Okay, but we shall be satisfied. And how, why are we going to be satisfied? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be our guide. Okay, but let's go. Let's go here. This is what I wanted to get going back to the uh, gas rationing. It says, um, second Ezra 15 verse, uh, 16. It says, and there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their Kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. A lot of people are going to become furious with their, uh, uh you know, with, with their, uh, um, government because, they were they were trusting in the government, trusting in the shadow of of Egypt, trusting in Pharaoh, thinking that Pharaoh was going to deliver them, and and when in reality all Pharaoh did was lead them to to to, to be slaughtered. Okay, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, and and one of those reasons is because what it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to do it because. The, the gas that you have been rationed is not going to afford you, you know, the uh, um, the amount you need to go wherever you want to go. All right. Hey, and I seen this a couple days ago. Um, man caught on fire. Trying to steal gas. Let's see if it pops up. Yep. All right, and this came out, you know, a few days ago. It says man accidentally sets himself on fire while allegedly trying to steal gas. And some people try to take the easy way out of everything the storm and hey, there's not going to be no easy way out of uh, out of the, uh, the hell that's coming, man. There's going to be no way out. All right? You even had the the prophets said woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days. You see? And that's why you got to be built up in the spirit to be able to endure hardness as a good soldier. Because these people out here, they're not built and they don't got that spiritual fortitude. So they're going to try to do things that is uh, uh, um, <laughs> uncanny, unprecedented, desperate. And it's going to, you know, cause them to, uh, to, to, to it's going to cause them to fall, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's going to cause them to, 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 uh, uh, Injure themselves or kill themselves or kill somebody else or injure somebody else. All right. Let's see. Let's just see this. Because then I saw it. I'm like, actually, you know what? I'm not going to play it because they might try to, you know, say that um, it's a, a, you know, it's a, it's, it's too um, vulgar. But it says a man who allegedly tried stealing gasoline from a Utah business has been caught on on video bursting into flames. The incident involved a security business, Summer Fire and Protection, who said it was targeted by two groups of thieves on Saturday. OK, and, but like I said, when you seen this, <laughs> this guy le legit was trying to steal gas and he got and he caught on fire. The guy tried to siphon gas out of it and he wasn't getting the siphon. To work, the store manager Travis uh, said, Mill said, so he decided to drill the gas tank, and that's when he caught on fire. But you see how how uh, uh, irrational people are are getting, man. And now this is only for gas. Like I said, you know, I did a video a couple days ago. You know, gas isn't 
a a, a uh, well, life or death necessity. So if people are doing this for things that are still somewhat uh, affordable, all right, although it's crazy and five dollars, but it's still somewhat uh, uh, affordable. What do you think they're going to do when it's ten, fifteen dollars a gallon? What do you think they're going to do when it's food? That's why it says in Second Ezra that they should have no pity upon their neighbor. See, this guy, he didn't have pity upon the uh, the store manager. Right. It says for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So because of tribulation, because of a of a uh, of a um, necessity, people are doing things that are what you would call um, <laughs> uh, uh, um, what's the word? Deadly. We put it like that, because this guy, he could have died. People are willing to risk their life for things that they desire. All right. And the, and the desire at this moment isn't a life or death desire. See, when you need food in your mind, you're going to think, well, if I don't eat, I'm going to die. So I might as well risk my life trying to get food because either way <laughs> I'm, I might die. But this person, people are in the mindset now that hey, they're trying to steal, they're trying to, uh, you know, gas and and putting themselves in danger for uh, for gas. So it's going to get to the point where they're going to start putting other people at in danger. They're going to put your their neighbor in danger for whatever things that they desire. And that's when all that's when people's mind is going to is going to sink in. That there is no going back. That things are only going to get worse and worse. And that's when people are going to realize that they have no covering. They have no protection. And then that's when the Lord it says, then my chosen are going to be known. Because they're going to be particular spirits, particular people <laughs> on the earth that are going to be in a good case. As we just read in Isaiah, the third chapter, it should be well with, with the righteous, but it should be ill with the uh, with the um, un, with the uh, with the unrighteous. Let me go back to that part. Verse 11. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him for the for the reward of his hands shall be given him. OK, so whatever <laughs> whatever you have sown, that's what you're going to reap. All right. So. Like I said, I don't want to make this too long, Lord willing. You know, this was edifying unto the elect, all right, the ones of us that is watching. If I can remember, I try to, you know, post this article in the um, subscription uh, or in the, you know, comment so, you know, you can watch the actual event take place. You know what? I'm going to play it. Lord willing. Lord, Lord, uh, have mercy. Oh, no, actually, never mind. I can't watch. I can't play it because it says that. But, you know, I'll post it in the description. And, you know, you could check it out and see, you know, what happened to this guy, you know, but with that till next time, Shalom.